hi guys and welcome back to my channel um, so as you can probably tell from the title today I'm going to be trying some 420 stoner munchy creations um, I've done this video kind of before I've tried my subscribers favorite munchy creations so you guys sent me in a bunch of crazy random food combinations that you tried when you were high that you really liked and I tried them on camera and basically rated them from 1 to 10 but today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different um basically <laughs> so the other day my sister my sister and I were smoking outside um we do that sometimes just as like a chill night we'll just smoke together and chat on our balcony and while we were chatting we were just discussing food <laughs> because we both have the munchies and that sparked the idea for me to or for us to both come up with while we were high um, food combinations that sounded really good that we didn't have access to at the time but I'm gonna try today so today's stoner food combination video comes to you courtesy of my and my sister's crazy food minds and the crazy things we were running together while we were high. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is last time when I tried the combinations I wasn't high because you guys had already tried them when you were high and so I wanted to try them sober to really fully be able to rate them and see how good they are. Um, but because I was high when I came up with these combinations and I haven't tried them yet I am going to get a little bit stoned right now and I'm going to try the food when I am high so I can fully see if it is a stoner food combo or if it's a fail. So I have some, I'm gonna do it differently. Usually I'll like actually smoke on camera, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently today. I got these um, watermelon gummies that are edibles. So it says to only take one piece, but I feel like I'm gonna take more than that. <laughs> it says that it takes 60 to 90 minutes for the full effect uh, to happen. So I'm gonna take these, wait, I'll probably start making some of the combinations so I can just like have them on camera pretty much right away um, while I'm waiting for it to kick in. But yeah, I'm gonna wait and then I'm gonna come back on camera and try the combinations for you guys. Why not just have like Okay, so for reference, it has 100 milligrams THC per package, and there's 10 servings per package. And I'm having half of a package, so I'm having 50 milligrams THC. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but we will find out. <laughs> Now I'm going to go put together the combinations, and I will see you guys in about an hour. Okay, so it has been about an hour and ten minutes now, and I am definitely feeling it. So let's just get started with trying these creations. Who knows if they're going to be edible or not, but I'm going to find out for you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do <laughs> is lemon loaf cake and cream cheese. So I felt like this would be good. This is my idea and I felt like this would be good because lemon loaf is sweet but not like it's like kind of in between because it's like fruity and then cream cheese is kind of savory but also not and I just felt like it would go well together. I got the lemon loaf cake from 7-Eleven and this is just regular Philadelphia cream cheese. Plus, I'm actually like really hungry right now, so this is like the perfect time to try these things, right? Okay, let's try it. I can't really taste the cream cheese because there's so much lemon cake, so hold on. Hey. You guys, it's honestly not bad. That's pretty good. I would say that's like a... 
7 out of 10. It's almost like equally good with the cream cheese and with the lemon loaf cake by itself. So I'd say it's like a 7 out of 10. It's not as good as I was hoping, but we still have plenty of things coming, so it's fine. Next one is pizza rolls with M&M's. The pizza rolls are warm, so the M&M's I think will get kind of melty, and I think they'll taste really good with the pizza. This was Sarah's idea though, so I have to give credit to Sarah. She thought of this one, and when she thought of it, I was like, fuck oh, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> so I just went and microwaved it a bit because the pizza rolls were warm, but not warm enough to melt the M&Ms like I had intended. But I feel like if they were like directly out of the oven, it would work, but they had just been sitting there because I was filming something else, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, first off, I feel like pizza rolls are either like too freaking hot or too cold. Like they're never the right temperature. They're mostly like skatingly hot. And then they burn your mouth. Like I'm just being thrown back to this from when I used to eat them in like middle school. Um, <laughs> but this is really good. This is actually really good. Mm-hmm. I really do enjoy this. It's like a burst of sweetness with the salty pizza. It's really good. I love them. I would rate that one an eight and a half out of 10. If you're craving something salty and sweet and you like chocolate, oh my gosh, I just love the way M&M's taste like they're like half melted, so the shell is hard, but the inside's all melted. They're so good. So the next one that I'm going to try is kind of a take on chocolate peanut butter, but it's not peanut butter. It's almond butter. And I don't know if I really ever see people put chocolate and almond butter together, and I don't know if that's because it's not good or if like people just don't do it, but we're going to try it today. So I have um, these little... Donut donuts, I think, from Hostess, and I have warmed up almond butter. So I melt, I melted it in the microwave for a bit. So it's like, um, like more runny, I guess you could say, for lack of a better word. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. I mean, it looks good. You can't deny it, right? I mean, it sounds good to me, but who knows? <laughs> oh my god. That is so good. Wow. Uh-huh. It is dry as fuck though. So I definitely need water after that. So I don't know if it's the best snack after you've been smoking. Cause like I tend to get cotton mouth, <laughs> but I would sacrifice it for this. I would have cotton mouth and still eat this dry ass. Cause you know how the donuts are dry? I would still eat this. Uh huh. Mmm. I can't even describe how it's different from peanut butter really. It just is but it has the same vibe as chocolate peanut butter. I'm sure the peanut butter warmed up over that would be good too, but wow. I would say that's a nine and a half out of 10. Very good. Next thing that we thought of <laughs> is tater tot pizza, which I don't know if it's been done before. I know that fried pizza has been done before. I think, yeah, it has been done before, but I don't know if I've seen tater tots, which is kind of the same thing, but tater tots have like a kind of a different taste. 
and it just sounded really good to me like I really don't know how you can go wrong mixing tater tots which are really good with pizza it's really good so this is what it looks like just regular pizza with tater tots yum I think it's good because the tater tots are kind of like crisp So it adds like a nice texture to the pizza kind of. I would say it's like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, or an 8.5. This next one I am really, really excited about. I don't really see how it could go wrong. Aside from the fact that it might be too sweet. But besides that, like peanut butter marshmallow donut sandwich how can you go wrong with that so I'm just gonna put peanut butter on which side should I put on this side peanut butter This was Sarah's idea as well. That is exactly what you would imagine. That is so good. Oh my god. Could even almost just add the peanut butter and now it's probably still be really good because the peanut butter is like my favorite part of that like I love how the peanut butter is with something sweet like oh my god it's so good um I would say that's like a 9 out of 10 for sure for sure 9 out of 10 mm -mm. so this next one is also kind of a reach <laughs> like I'm not sure how good this is gonna be it could be great or it could be disgusting. Um, I made white cheddar mac and cheese, so this right here. It doesn't look very saucy, but it does taste very cheddary, I promise. Um, and then I also made chicken ramen. Oh. <laughs> chicken ramen um, with very little to no water because I don't really like that much broth. Um, and so I'm just going to mix them together. <laughs> Smells kind of good though. Hey, I might just done something that is good. Oh my god. Because it made the ramen kind of like, obviously mac and cheesy. So it's like ramen, <laughs> I was just going to say, it's like ramen mixed with mac and cheese. I guess I wasn't expecting the ramen to take on such like a cheesy flavor. Mmm. 
definitely better than expected for sure. Mm. Wow, okay, I would give that an 8.5 out of 10. I feel like that would be good with regular mac and cheese too. Honestly, if you want to try it, feel free. <laughs> Let me know what you think. <laughs> Last but not least, you guys, this is like what I'm most excited for. Blending up vanilla ice cream with a Pop-Tart, a strawberry Pop-Tart. I feel like it'll make a bomb texture because it'll be like kind of grainy in the ice cream, I bet. My, my voice just cracked. I was so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm going to blend it off camera though. I had to get a spoon because it's so thick. It looks so good though, oh my gosh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> that is amazing. Amazing. I don't, you guys can probably tell I'm like chewing a bit. It still has like, I didn't blend it like a ton, so the Pop-Tart pieces aren't like fully, fully broken up. So it has like these cold, like chewy um, Pop-Tart pieces. I low-key want to eat this whole thing. <laughs> okay, try this with your favorite, please try this with your favorite Pop-Tart flavor. And let me know what you think. I think this would be really good with um, the brown sugar cinnamon one too. I love that one. Wow. <laughs> 10 out of 10. For real. So that is it for this stoner food video. That was so much fun to do. It was so much fun to have your like crazy food ideas come to life, especially when they're amazing, like the strawberry Pop-Tart shake, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is the end of this video. I'm for sure gonna go take a nap. I'm full and satisfied <laughs> and still very high. <laughs> so I will just talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and yeah.